Now let's look at operations on radical expressions. We want to add square root 50 plus square root 32. We cannot add it in their present format because we don't have like radical expressions, but we can simplify each one individually. And then let's see what we come up with. For the square root of 50, we notice that we can rewrite that as the square root of 25 times, five, times 2. For the square root of 32, we know that this is equivalent to 16 times 2. Now we're going to take the square root of 25 separated from the square root of 2. We'll do the same thing for our second group. That'll be square root of 16 times square root of 2. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 16 is 4. And now that we have like radicals, we can think about this as factoring out the square root of 2 leaving us with 5 plus 4 multiplied times the square root of 2, giving us a result of 9 square root 2.